Hi everyone, it's Adam from Powerbelt 3D, and recently I 3D printed the Geyer Anderson cat model from the Scan the World initiative hosted on my mini factory. Now, I picked this model in particular because on traditional 3D printers, you need support material underneath the chin of the cat so that it'll come out correctly. But on a conveyor belt 3D printer, you can actually 3D print in mid-air along the axis of the conveyor belt. Really, all the rules around support material and overhang angles are much different. So at first, I thought this model was going to be pretty straightforward, but it ended up being a little bit more challenging than I expected, if you can see from these, these film prints. What kept happening was the paw of the cat, if you see the one that isn't attached to the tail, didn't quite have enough surface area to hold on to the conveyor belt throughout the whole printing process. So it kept wobbling around or falling off completely as the print was going. To try to fix this, I fired up Microsoft 3D Builder, and if you haven't tried it yet, I would definitely recommend it. It's a free tool, and it's a really easy way to make slight modifications to mesh files, STLs, that you downloaded online. What I did was I added a small rectangle in between the freestanding paw and the paw that was attached to the tail. Now I thought this would fix the problem completely, but as we started printing taller and taller, again the model kept getting knocked off the conveyor belt. So what we learned here was that if you're going to be printing relatively tall models on a conveyor belt 3D printer, you're still going to need a fair amount of surface area in contact with the conveyor belt to make it work correctly. So what I did was I went back into Microsoft 3D Builder, added a rectangle to the entire bottom of the model, and was able to print it successfully. Now you might be thinking that this is really similar to a brim or a raft, and you'd be right. I actually printed the first couple of these models on rafts, but I still ran into the issue where the paw didn't quite have enough surface area to stick to the raft after you take into account the distance between the model and the raft itself. Adding a brim would be a good option, but from what I could tell, it wasn't actually an option in Black Belt Cura, which is the software that we use to slice this file. So essentially what we did was we used 3D Builder to add a, a manual wrap, if you will, to this model, and it ended up working out really well. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and maybe share it with someone that you know that's interested in 3D printing. Leave a comment below letting us know what you think we should 3D print next. We're always looking for new models to test out our conveyor belt 3D printers. If you need a reference for anything we discussed in this video, there's a link in the description to our website to our complete guide on how to orient and slice your models for conveyor belt 3D printers specifically. Thanks for watching and happy printing!